Yesterday's Zoo. I dreamed of a place called Yesterday's Zoo that was full of friends I never knew. Ten dinosaurs from distant shores hid underneath my bed as nine pigeons searched for passengers and in nests inside my head. Eight late but great gray wallabies wondered what to do as seven silent quaggas sat and stared outside the zoo. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but you always do. In a little place called Zazu, you, you matter. Yeah, you, you matter. Me too. You matter. I matter. I'm a modest Zazu, you. One is just the number. Two can be complete, three can be a crown, and you, you can't be beat because you matter. Yeah, you, you matter. Me too, you matter. I matter. I I'm a modest Zazu, you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're beautiful. Don't worry none about the realities. Just wrap your mind around the possibilities. Now that we're set, no more stalling. We plant the seed. Zazu's calling. Whoa, Mom was right. I don't enjoy my food when I eat too fast. Oops. My snack's been zorked! got wet. Thank goodness. If you got wet, there'd be a mudslide. This is a lot easier than getting my plants a drink at the water fountain. Rain. I like it. Too bad we can't do this at picnics. Oh, students! Thank you, young man. I. Oh, Rafi, your new vitamins certainly pack a wallop. <laughs> oh, dear, what a mess. Whatever were you conducting, Professor? A rain dance? Would you and you and, oh yes, you, be dears and find the janitor? Tell him to bring a mop. Janitor? Yes, you know, those quaint dungareed men with their names over the pocket? Ask him to clean up this mess. Immediate a mop! What mess? Uh, Mr. Vine, we've never seen any janitors at Zazu U. Especially with names over their pockets. It's really here. Never noticed it before. Do we knock? Nah, let's bravely go where no student has gone before. This is a tense moment. <laughs> Mr. Vine, is that you? Nope. Seen a janitor in here? There's nobody here but us! Jeez! Somebody open the door! Secret doorway. Maybe this is where they keep the secret mops. 
This is home economics, and more specifically, wonderful ways with food. A total experience. In my class, you will be exposed to new food ideas. Use them wisely, and never, never, never be mundane. Be creative, be daring. Oh, great. It's pitch black. How are we going to find anything in this? I've got an idea. Bright idea. Look, you know what this means, don't you? No. Geez, when you gotta explain simple plot devices. We split up, each of us takes a different tunnel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, why didn't we think of that? Well, Tess's mom and dad let her stay up late and watch old movies. It's a good thing, too. See you later. Attention, your attention, please. I have a simply fabulous lesson plan. We are going to have a cooking contest. Yes, a bake-off. All right, a bake-off. Something I can really sink my teeth into. <laughs> Literally. I'll eat the losing entries. Oh, is this a great class or what? Whoever is able to satisfy my sophisticated palate will win a very special prize. A contest? I'm living for winning. What are we waiting for? Let us get cooking. Let's see. I should create something I know and love, but they've already taken out the garbage, so I'll just have to improvise. Must be creating mood for food. Food I love ski. Food of my people. Food of circus. Men and gentle ladies, boys and girls, kids. Directing attention to center ink, please. Where me, Slovo Bonito, is attempting to make unbelievable circus food without an end. I'm asking for total silence, please. Hey, I'm preparing special dish old country food. Is beloved Papa's favorite, Shecky on a shingle. But first, must perform Shecky old time old country good luck custom. I'm needing special ingredient not found in most modern kitchens. Okay, stick with what you know and love, and you'll never go wrong. And believe me, I know and love this stuff. Oh, Ms. Devine! <laughs> Someone stop me! I wonder if there's a recipe for chicken fried rarf. Oops. Wow, old toys. Not a microchip in the bunch. My dad told me about hula hoops. Not much to tell. Had one of these when I was a baby. Used to sit for hours spinning it and watching it, spinning it and watching it. Wonder why I did that. You know, I never really got into pinball before. This could be fun, challenging. And again. Chocolate candy, popcorn, candy apple, dog of corns, the best circus food in the world, rolling into one. The prize is for sure to be mine. I'm bringing back a live Siberian large mouse. A special good luck ingredient for Shecky on Shingle. But not to using whole king size mouse, only in the weeny tinsy tansy part. The good luck part. Cereal and milk. It's simple, it's edible, it's worth a passing grade. Yeah, you'd have to be a real jerk to mess it up. Yum. Now for the taste test. Hello? Mr. Janitor? It's okay, I'm a student. I'm not even selling Girl Scout cookies. Hello? Whoa. This
This must be his office. Boss. Hmm. That's got a real nice ring to it. Boss Tess. That ring's even better. This is like the typewriter Grandma types me letters on. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It has been so long since anyone's used me. Please, don't stop. Hit a key. Any key. Oh, I, I really gotta... Oh, come on! I'm not asking you to perform brain surgery, please. Just for a little while. You know, just so I can feel, you know, used, wanted, appreciated. Um, okay. I'm a sucker for desperate typewriters. Hello, America. Any janitors in here? Oh, final. No CDs? I like it. Five cents. You don't get bar guns like that anymore. Now this is my kind of audience. A hot dog? What can possibly go wrong with a hot dog? Heck, I didn't even cook it. Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? <laughs> As if I didn't know. Hand it over, Rarf, and I may let you live. On second thought, nah. <laughs> Laugh all you want, Rarf. You just gave me the raw ingredients for success. I've been looking all over for you. Wow, what a game. If only life were like this. Imagine, clean your room just the way your mom likes it. Bells and lights go off. Way cool. I could... Where's your drive, your intestinal fortitude, your guts? Come on, does a grandma deserve more from a sweet little Tessie? Come on, just a couple more sentences, huh? Are you kidding? I even told her what I had for breakfast. Jeez, from now on, I'm using the phone. <laughs> you use the PH word! Oh, how can you be so cruel? Well, I'm sorry, I... I lose more good typists that way. Nice. I wonder what's next. My hand off! Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. That's my oh, no. piano. Not too many people drop in here anymore. Mr. Janitor, I presume. His name's Bob. No, it ain't. Name's Carl. Just plain Carl. Well, it says Bob on your suit. Maybe I just want to confuse folks. Well, it works. Don't change it. What you kids doing down here anyways? Why ain't you hanging out at one of them trendy malls or noisy arcades? Came down to find you. There was an unnatural disaster in the music room. I gotcha. That's all they ever want me for is unnatural disasters. Well, I'll go get my sawdust. No, it's not that kind of disaster. Just as well. I don't know my way out of this place anyhow. <laughs> so, Carl Bob, what do you do for fun down here, all alone, without any friends? I 
take care of all the good old stuff the school throws away to make room for all the good new stuff. You mean like those old toys I found? The ones that tried to kill me? Well, what the ding-dang nabbit did you think I was talking about? It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. So, what's behind door number one? Holy frick, holies, where'd that sucker come from? Well, don't give it no, never mind. Gotta be a key for it here someplace. No, ain't that key. Not that one. Maybe this one. Nope. nope. Too bad this wasn't a rarf pot pie. <laughs> Whatever is the matter with you? Is this one of those dreary little instinctive things you lower animals have from time to time? Rawfums, is there... Oh, my, how time flies when we are creating. Five minutes, class. Five minutes before judging. Oh, no, five minutes. I'm nailed. I don't have anything ready. I'm gonna fail home ec. This is not going to look good on my resume. Oh, if I don't pass, I won't graduate. Well, if I don't graduate, I won't get a good job. And if I don't get a good job, I'll have to live at home when I'm an adult. Try one, Rothams. I had these yum yums manufactured just for you. Now be a good little Rothikins. Eat it. Go ahead, yes, that's it. That's a good Rothy Barfy. Watch it! I think I just passed this class. The last key. Ain't that the way it always happens? Uh, Daddy, are we there yet? Wow. wow! Wow! So this is where I put them. Ain't good to lose track of animals, especially when they're extinct. Come on, Boink. We gotta see this. Okay! <coughs> yeah, we got a little of everything down here. Dodos, wallabies, great ox, adequate ox, not so great ox. <laughs> this place could use some air freshener, too. Better go get some. Just let yourselves out when you're done. I dreamed of a place called Yesterday's Zoo that was full of friends I never knew. Ten dinosaurs from distant shores hid underneath my bed as nine pigeons searched for passengers in nests inside my head. Eight late but great gray wallabies wondered what to do as seven silent quaggas sat and stared outside the zoo. Six Falkland Island foxes fought and wrestled in the sand as five caracas from Guadalupe flew high above the land. Four great auks with four small clocks watched as time went by. Three wrens from Stephen Island sang a song that just asked, why? Two dodo birds forgot the words, so they just hummed along to that antiquated and outdated twice forgotten song. One final thing and then I'll bring this dream to its conclusion and hope that I can simplify without too much confusion. All these friends I never knew are now a part of yesterday's zoo. And all the friends I've yet to meet, the tiger, whale, and the lorikeet, the dolphin, owl, and the elephant, and a thousand more less eloquent, say dreams can sometimes happen. And dreams just might come true. My dream is that my friends today stay out of yesterday's zoo. And the winner, although you all performed magnificently, is Grizzle, who created these wonderful, delicious meat cookies. <laughs> I simply must have the recipe for my next get-together. 
And now, dear rancid boy, your well-deserved prize. The rare opportunity to care for and nurture my precious raw people for an entire three-day weekend. I'm so honored, Miss Divine. Oh, we're gonna be the bestest buddies there ever was. Yeah, I've even got a special little playmate just for Rarfy Poo. Say, Rarf, did I tell you my dad bought some new power tools? <laughs> just what I thought you'd say. <laughs> That's the end of this. Until next time. So it's adios. The end of the line. Later.